If we log into the back end of my Google ad account and see how much money I spent in the last year. So if we select the date range 1st of October and take it all the way up until the 31st of October, 2021, and then click apply, we can see that I spent over 8,000 pounds, which is around $9,000 on Google ad spend for my Shopify dropshipping business. Now, if we go over to my Shopify dropshipping dashboard and see how much money I was able to generate, we can see that if I select the same date range and take it up until the 31st of October, we can see that I was able to generate over 32,000 pounds, which is around 35, maybe $36,000 in sales from the Shopify dropshipping business. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google shopping ads to drive traffic to your Shopify site and make more money. Let's get right into it. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through step-by-step -step how you can set up your first Google Shopping ad campaign. I'm gonna be breaking down what a Google Shopping ad campaign for anyone out there that doesn't know, because I'm getting new subscribers to this channel every single day. And a lot of people always ask me, Sam, what exactly is Google Shopping ads? So I thought, you know what? Let me make an updated video showing you how you can set up Google Shopping ads for your Shopify dropshipping business. Everything you need to know, the most important things you need to know anyway. So make sure you stick around for this whole video. There's gonna be so much value in it. And if you do find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new videos come out. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, what exactly is a Google Shopping ad? So I'm going to jump into the laptop right now and show you exactly what it is. For anyone out there that's confused about what a Google Shopping ad is or what a normal Google ad is, I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see, I'm on the Google homepage and I'm just going to type in a product that I might be searching for, you know, like what a normal customer will do if they jumped onto Google. So let's say, for example, I want to buy something for my dog. I don't really have a dog, but I'm just going to use that as an example. So I'm just going to type in dog coats. So so this section at the top right here is the Google Shopping ad section. So all of these different companies, as you can see, their names are here. This one is called Funny Fuzzy. This one's called Doggy Squad, perfect for pets. All of these different companies are using Google Shopping ads to advertise their product. So when someone is searching for a dog coat into Google, this is the first thing that pops up. And because of these images, it's gonna attract a lot of people to wanna click into it and take the customer directly to your landing page or your website. So that's the reason why I like to use Google Shopping ads because it's been one of the best ways that I've seen success with my Shopify dropshipping stores. Now there's another type of ad that you can use with your Shopify business that I also like to use as well, but I do primarily like to use Google Shopping ads. But the second type of ad that you can use with your Shopify business is Google search ads. So if we just scroll down here, this is what a Google search ad is. So it doesn't necessarily come up with the picture of the item. As you can see, Google Shopping ads do that. What the Google search ad is going to do is bring up the link of the product. As you can see, the link is right here and it says ad right here. So this business, which is Amazon in this case, paid for this link to be here. And because a lot of customers are used to just clicking on links when they type in something into Google, not many customers are used to clicking on a picture at the top here. This is the reason why you're able to get a lot of traffic to your website if you do use Google search ads, but I'm not going to be going through search ads in today's video. I'm going to be working on that later on this week and it's going to be out real soon. So make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss that video. So before you're even allowed to set up your first Google Shopping ad campaign and start driving traffic to your website using the same method that I just showed you that these other sellers are using, you need to get two things ready. The first thing that you need to do is install the right app. Now what the app is going to do is that it's going to connect your Shopify store to your Google account. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to install the right app. Let me just show you which app you need to get. So as you can see, you need to log into your Shopify account, click on apps. This is the page you're going to see. What you need to do is come to customize your store. All right. So once you're here, you need to type in feed for Google shopping. So I'm going to type that in right now. So at this point, you need to make sure that you get the right app. Now I've only used one app when it comes to connecting my Google account to my Shopify store. So I've not actually used any of these other apps that are available. The one that I've used is actually this one here. They haven't actually sponsored this video or anything like that. The reason why I'm promoting them is because they have been reliable. They've help me when it comes to making money on Shopify. And I just want to give back and I want you guys to make sure that you get the right app as well. So that is the app that I use when it comes to connecting my Shopify account to my Google account. So once you've installed this app onto the back end of your store and you've done everything that they need you to do to make sure everything is done right, the next thing you need to do is sign up for a Google Merchant Center. So this is what the Google Merchant Center's page looks like. You need to come to this page by going to Google and tapping in Google Merchant Center. Come to this page. You're going to see 
this option here where it says get started. And then once you do that, you just need to follow the steps for you to be able to sign up for your Google Merchant Center. Now I do have to let you guys know that when you do want to sign up for a Google Merchant Center, not every single account gets approved. Google is going to look at your account to make sure that everything is done right in terms of your website, in terms of the refund page, everything. There's certain things that you need to do to make sure that your Google Merchant Center gets approved. And what the Merchant Center does is that it allows Google to know what products you're actually selling on your store. So once you connect the app to your Google Merchant Center, Google's going to basically know all of the products that you're selling and it just helps you to know which products have been approved, which ones have been disapproved. So I'm going to quickly log into my Merchant Center right now, just so that you guys know what it looks like and what it does, so that I can explain a little bit more. Let's go. So this is what your Merchant Center is going to look like once it's been approved and all of your products have been loaded into it. So it will let you know at this point whether or not a specific product is pending or disapproved or active. So all of my products in this specific store that I'm currently running is active. I've got 181 active listings and it also lets you know the performance of your ads as well, how things are doing. All right, so once you've installed the app onto your Shopify store and you've signed up for your Google Merchant Center, the next thing that you need to do is go over to ads.google.com and this is the place where you're going to actually set up all of your campaigns. So this is the initial page that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Now, when it comes to setting up your first shopping ad campaign, you need to click on this option right here where it says new campaign. And then from this point, you're going to be able to select what you're trying to do either sales, leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach, app promotion and local store visits. But what we're trying to do is get sales. So what we're going to do is click on sales. And then from this point, you can either select search, display, shopping, video, smart or discovery ads. Now there's so many different types of Google ads that you can use. In this video, I've only told you about search ads and shopping ads, but there's various other ones that I'm going to make more videos on in the future. Again, make sure you subscribe down below. But what we're going to be doing in today's video is a shopping ad campaign. So once you're here, you just need to make sure that your Google Merchant Center matches the number that's inside here and select the country where your products are sold. So as you can see, United Kingdom. Now in this section, it says select a campaign subtype. So when it comes to Google shopping ads, you can either do a smart shopping ad or you can either do a standard shopping ad. So when it comes to smart shopping campaign, basically you're giving Google the authority to determine which product in your store is gonna get pushed more than the other ones. And you're also gonna be giving Google the authority to you know choose what bidding strategy to use and various other things but I've never really used a smart shopping campaign myself I always use standard shopping campaign so I'm going to click on that so the first thing you need to do is set up a campaign name so this is just for your own information so you can set up something to help you remember what the campaign is that you're currently setting up so I'm just going to put it as November 2021 something simple so when it comes to the bidding and budget section you need to select your bid strategy so for me personally, to be honest with you guys, I normally use maximize clicks. As you can see, it says maximize clicks here. Sometimes I use manual CPC. So it just depends on what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to test out. But most of the time I do use maximize clicks. So I'm gonna click on maximize clicks right here. So the next thing that I personally like to do is set a maximum cost per click bid limit. So I select that and then what I need to do is enter the amount that I don't want Google to charge me more per click, if that makes sense. So for you to find out this information, what you need to do is go over to the Google Keyword Planner. That's one of the best places that I like to use when it comes to figuring out what is my maximum cost per click for the products that I'm trying to sell. So let's go over to the Google Keyword Planner and I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about. So to find the Google Keyword Planner, what you need to do is come to Tools and Settings and then go to Planning and then click on the Keyword Planner. So I'm gonna open it in a new tab. All right, so once you're here, you click on discover new keywords. And then for example, if we're selling dog coats, like the same example that I showed you at the beginning, so I'm just gonna type in dog coats and then click on get results. Google's gonna be able to show us a lot of information when it comes to this specific keyword that I've typed in. Now I'm not gonna show you everything, but the most important thing that I like to look out for is the top of page bid low range and top of page bid high range. So as we can see for dog coats, the top of page bid high range is 42p and the low range is 11p. So when it comes to me setting up my campaign, if I'm selling dog coats, I'm gonna use around you know 40p, maybe 35p. So I'm gonna put 0.35p. So that's how I find that information out. The next thing is your budget. So this is your daily budget per day in terms of what you're willing to spend. Now, when it comes to me using a average daily budget for my campaign, I always start off really low. I put it around two pounds, maybe three pounds, see how the campaign does and then I increase it over time. So what I'm gonna do is just enter in three pound right there. Targeting, I always remove this option here. I only select 
search networks initially i see how the campaign does if it underperforms and i'm not getting any conversions from the search network i come back and then i remove it for location you need to select a specific location that you're going to be selling to primarily so because i'm going to be primarily selling within the uk i'm going to select united kingdom but i like to separate each campaign depending on which location i'm sending to just so that i can see which campaign is underperforming which one's performing well but for now i'm just going to select united kingdom the start date i just leave it as whatever day it is in terms of the start date and the end date I don't choose any end date I just leave it as it is and if the campaign's underperforming I just come back and end it but for now I just leave it as not set and then the ad group name I just leave it as ad group one and then click on create campaign so as you can see the campaign's been set up the status is currently eligible learning which means that Google's trying to see which products I'm currently selling in my store according to what's in my merchant center and essentially they're trying to see whether or not they're going to either approve this campaign or disapprove it depending on all the information that I put in it but most of the time I'll say 99.9% .9 of the time they always approve it but this stage normally takes around one day two days depending on which products I'm selling depending on which store I'm currently running but normally on average it takes around one to three days days for this learning to be removed now do bear in mind that your campaign is not going to start running until the word learning disappears that's when you're going to start seeing your impressions and your clicks go up once learning goes that's when you know that your campaign is actually running oh yeah and one key thing that you guys need to know if you do have multiple products in your store as you saw i've got 181 products in this specific store that i'm currently running so i don't necessarily want to run google shopping ads for all of the products that i'm currently selling so what you will do in your situation if you're in the same situation as me is that you can click on this option here where it says add subdivision and then once you're on this page you're going to be able to go through and select which products you want this google shopping ad that you just set up to apply to so you don't necessarily have to run google shopping ads for all of the products in your store you're going to be able to select which ones you want to show for this specific ad so i like to remove any products that I know are underperforming or are just there as an accessory. Any accessories that I currently have in my store or any upsell products, I come here and then I remove them and I mainly focus on the high ticket items that are in my store. And then I use the low ticket items as a way to upsell the high ticket ones because there's no point running Google shopping ads for items that have a low profit margin because I'm gonna end up losing money. I might as well focus my Google shopping ads on the products that have a high profit margin and then I can just upsell the low ticket ones with a low profit margin once the customer is on my site. Now, there's so much that goes into Google Shopping ads that I wasn't able to go into in today's video, e.g. negative keywords, how to optimize your Google Shopping ad campaign, or how to set up conversion tracking so that you know exactly how much money you're making from your Google Shopping ads so that you can kill off any campaigns. I wasn't able to go through that in today's video because the video would have been too long, but I do have a step-by-step -step guide that shows you step-by-step -step from ground zero, how to set up your Shopify store, how to design it, how to connect your Shopify store to your Google Merchant Center, how to get your Google Merchant Center approved, everything you need to know from A to Z when it comes to setting up your Shopify store and using Google Shopping ads to drive sales. So make sure you check out that link in the pinned comment down below. It's currently on sale. But if you enjoyed the video and if you got any value from it, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when the new videos come out. And let me know what you thought of the video. If you're going to start using Google Shopping ads, put it down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.